Governor Eric Holcomb delivered his seventh State of the State address this evening, and he's pushing for more spending in several areas as state lawmakers work to pass a new state budget this legislative session. Thanks for joining us. I'm Beer Shalad May. And I'm Dan Spieler. Much of the governor's speech focused on funding in public health, education, public safety, and economic development. Fox 59 State House reporter Kristen Eskow shows us why the governor is focused on these specific areas. Kristen? Quite a few moments of bipartisan applause at this year's State of the State as Governor Eric Holcomb laid out his case for why lawmakers should approve an additional $5.5 billion in spending over the next two years. Ladies and gentlemen, the state of our state is strong and about to get stronger. Applause from lawmakers of both parties as Governor Eric Holcomb says Indiana is well positioned to invest more state funding in several areas. That includes significantly ramping up spending for public health. He's calling for $347 million in state funding over the next two years. Our life expectancy in Indiana has declined in recent years, specifically among those who are front and center to our future, working aged adults between 25 and 64 years old. Holcomb also made his pitch for more education funding, receiving standing ovations as he called for an additional $1.2 billion to give K-12 teachers a raise and an end to textbook fees for all public and charter school students. One of his special guests, parent Mandy Allen, who Holcomb says paid $630 this year for books for her four kids. Let's cover the full cost of curriculum fees paid for by parents so that folks like Mandy don't have to pay this dreadful bill ever again. Holcomb is also calling for more spending in areas like public safety and economic development. He argues investing now will make Indiana more competitive for jobs of the future. We have a race plan in place to help all 92 counties reach their next level aspirations. Holcomb is proposing a roughly $43 billion budget for the next two years. Now aside from his budget proposals, Holcomb also discussed plans for a new trail to be built in southern Indiana. Holcomb says it will be the longest trail in the state stretching across five counties. At the State House, Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. Kristen, thank you. Tonight we also heard from Indiana Democrats and Republicans after the governor's address. Both parties agree funding for K-12 education is crucial. But they also have different responses to the governor's proposal to end curriculum fees paid for by parents. K-12 public education is super important. As we all know, it's the, most imp uh, the uh, largest line item in the budget and will continue to be. Um, and so that's, that's part and parcel of that conversation. Whether or not we can get to, to that with the uh, textbooks is uh, something we'll talk about in our caucus, and I'm sure the House will as well. Parents deserve better. And if the state of Indiana, if Hoosiers are going to support the state of Indiana to the point where we can have $2.5 billion in reserves, then we could at least provide relief for them so they don't have to pay textbooks and technology fees. Democrats are calling for increasing funding for education. and They also want Indiana to offer universal pre-K. That's not something Republicans are calling for now, but they do plan to discuss ways to expand access. The governor has proposed a plan to offer pre-K grants to 5,000 more low-income families. Of course, we'll have much more reaction coming up Sunday morning on In Focus.